beginning to look a lot like Christmas here in the K-Bach Performance Studio. Music by Meredith Wilson, arranged by Kenneth Abling and played by the Tetra String Quartet. Hi, I'm Greg Kustraba. The Tetra Quartet will be presenting their winter fundraising concert and silent auction Friday evening at 7 at the Tempe History Museum. Welcome. Hi, Greg. Thank you so much for having us here today. Well, thanks for being here. Jenna Dalby is the executive director of and the cellist in the Tetra String Quartet, as well as a founding member. Jenna, tell us about the history of the ensemble. When did you start it and and why? What was the purpose of it? Well, we are a local nonprofit here, and we've been together since 2010. So this is our 13th season together. And we formed with this belief that music is what connects us in our community. And we wanted to just not play for people who were buying tickets, but bring music to communities that were not typically being served by classical musicians. Okay. And like what type of communities would that be? I know you've done some things that uh, for children on the autism spectrum, you have this series, uh, chamber series for them. Yeah. So since uh, 2015, we did our first Azure Family Concerts here in Tempe. And our concerts are all behaviors welcome. So that means that parents can bring their children and not worry about if they want to get up and dance or vocalize or have maybe like what we'd consider um, classical music behavior. Those we can be your truest self at Azure Family Concerts. It fills us with so much joy to play for those kids and those families because the parents of kids on the spectrum or parents of kids with other sensory needs, they can't always go to traditional concerts because they are worried about the behaviors of their children. So it's been really fun. And we often bring Santa with us or other guest artists. And yeah, it's, it's a really, it's a really great party. That's fantastic. And I know you do some things with the Maricopa Juvenile Detention Facility as well. Yes, we've been going there for eight years as well. Um, We are very, very passionate about working with youth. So we've started by performing educational concerts for them about eight years ago. Uh, But recently, we started doing songwriting workshops with them with a local rap artist, a positive rap artist, Colby Jeffers. So we go in and we talk to the youth and they share their stories with us. And we tell them, we tell the youth, like our community believes in you. Well, we've got some more holiday fair coming up in just a bit, but next we decided to get away from that for a minute for the music by Mozart and the Danish String Quartet. Jenna, tell us why you've decided to pair these pieces together. I know your audience today is probably familiar with Mozart's dissonant string quartet, but the second piece we're going to play is by the Danish String Quartet, and this was actually a piece of folk music that's been infused by I kid do not rock and roll. So you are going to hear us, especially Kim and I, Kim is our lovely violist of the string quartet. We are going to be doing a technique called chopping. So I promise we don't have drums here today, but we will be adding rhythm to that. The Tetra String Quartet in the K-Bach Performance Studio. Thank you. 
and total fun. The Norwegian folk song Old Rhinelander, arranged by the Danish String Quartet. Before that, the finale of the String Quartet number 19, the Dissonance Quartet by Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. We heard the Tetra String Quartet, violinist Megan Ruel and Heidi Wright, violist Kim Hankins, and cellist Jenna Dalby in the K-Bach Performance Studio. I'm Greg Kustrava. Well, you've got a special performance in a couple of days coming up. Tell us a little bit about your winter fundraiser. Right. You know, so the communities that we were curious about playing for, you know, they don't have budgets, right? So when we first got got started, we just played. You know, we would do gigs and do. You know, we would teach. We would make money all the other ways, and then offer our. We want to offer our services free for the community. Our As Your Family concerts are free. Um, also, our we have an t- after school program called the Tetra Chamber Music Institute, which is actually a huge part of our mission, um, and we always want this program to be accessible to any student that wants to participate, regardless of economic circumstances. But yes, we we do have this big fundraiser coming up. And uh, we'll, oh, so our silent auction, we have over $11,000 of goods and services. Um, so if anyone wants to come and complete your Christmas shopping in one swoop, we have baseball tickets. We have gift cards to restaurants. We have theater tickets, performing arts tickets. So we feel so grateful for our community for donating these things. Yeah. And that's coming up Friday at 7 at the Tempe History Museum. Right. So the concert starts at 730. But yeah, get there at 7 for to enjoy um, a big marble soda and some Trader Joe's cookies. Excellent. You can learn more about the quartet and their winter fundraiser. It's at their website. It's tetraquartet.org. Well, I have to say it's not every string quartet where one of the violinists doubles as a harpist, but Heidi Wright does just that. Heidi, did you always play violin and the harp? And then why both? So I was really lucky um, to be in the Mesa Public Schools where they actually have a pretty big harp program. So for anyone that's in band or orchestra, um, they they were al- allowed this opportunity um, to take harp lessons and a harp would be brought to the school. Um, and I was one of those lucky students that got to participate in that. So I always... I, I played it a little bit um, all through junior high and high school. And then when I um, went to college, I was lucky enough that uh, NAU, they had a harp with um, that no one was using. They didn't have a program, but they let me practice on it. And then I decided, okay, I want to get good enough at this where I could um, 
uh, justify buying my own, but they're not cheap. So I had to practice a lot. I ended up going to U of A um, and studying there and practicing a whole lot while I did my uh, violin degree as well. And after that, I ended up getting one. And it's always just kind of been something that I do in addition to violin. Um, over the years, I've I've done a little bit less of it. It's become my seasonal instrument. So uh, playing with tetra is definitely one of the biggest things I do with harp um, are these beautiful holiday arrangements that we, um, yeah, always do on our on our holiday concerts. And I was going to ask you about those arrangements. Uh, you arrange these Christmas tunes for the string trio and harp, right? Yes. Yeah. Silent Night, I know, was definitely a joint effort. I arranged the harp part and everyone kind of fit in their parts. Um, you know, we just messed around with what sounded good and that's how that came to be. And, and then the next one I did on my own. All right. Well, we'll hear those right now. Silent Night, then Good King Wenceslas and Ding Dong Merrily on High medley with the Tetra String Quartet here at the K-Bach Performance Studio on 89.5 K-Bach. Thank you. Thank you. 
A set of Christmas tunes arranged by Heidi Wright for string trio and harp. Heidi played the harp, joining her colleagues in the Tetra String Quartet. Violinist Megan Ruel, violist Kim Hankins, and cellist Jenna Dalby from the Kabak Performance Studio. The quartet will present their winter fundraiser, which includes a performance, reception, and silent auction at the Tempe History Museum beginning Friday evening at 7. Tickets are free and available at tetraquartet.org. Thank you all so much for joining us. This has been a lot of fun. Thank you for having us. We've had a blast. I'm Greg Kustraba. You can hear this interview and performance again at our website, performance.kbach.org. Well, Heidi Wright picks up her violin again to join the Tetris String Quartet in an arrangement by Drew Nichols of Mel Torme's The Christmas Song on 89.5 Kbach. Mm-hmm. 